What's going on guys? Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel and let's watch some videos. So Kat Kerr is back. I mean, she's always been there. She's always saying stuff that will make your head spin. Uh, so Wednesdays with Kat and Steve. Steve Schwartz uh, runs the ministry called Elijah Streams. He comes, he brings a lot of profits on this channel. And you will see a lot of videos that I've done. They come, they've come on uh, Steve's program. And every Wednesday, Steve uh, has an episode with Kat Kerr. Now, if you're not familiar with Kat, she travels to heaven a lot. She's been to heaven multiple times. And she runs a ministry called Revealing Truth, and she has written books. But in this episode, they are talking about, the, it's a question and answer on Wednesdays. They do this, and people will ask questions about heaven. Okay, what happens in heaven there? So today, they are talking about children who die on earth here, who are little, getting saved in heaven. Receiving Jesus as their Lord and per personal Savior. I'm not kidding. So, according to Kat, you can get saved when you get there. If you're children, you, you get salvation there. Okay, there's an opportunity for you to, to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. That's exactly our words. And the other thing is about animals. She has, she saw a lot of animals have, um, her dog, you know, that was on earth and died. Uh, she saw that. Um, she saw the goat, you know, the family goat. Somebody in the family was doing that. But the big thing is that they believe that if you die or when you die, in heaven, everybody will be in their 20s or 30s. That's how they, like, they, they literally put that category of age. 20 to 30 okay and yet the, the 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 children that are dying they go and get saved over there so there's more that they have talked about so let's hear and we'll talk through them okay she's done with the lord and other people have have testified that they've seen even the amusement parks uh, that, you know, if the earth is a shadow of what is in heaven, That's right. God, you know, like the, Jesus said, if, if your parent, if your parent uh, being evil, uh, know how to give good gifts, how much do you have to bother? And in that context, right. talking about the Holy Spirit, but yes. he, he, my dad was an evil guy, but even with his evilness and his evil behavior, when we went to Disneyland, those were special times. And then we would go and camping and those were special times. And they'd be mixed with his behavior, right? But if if you if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, it says how much more should have your father? Well, that principle goes into everything. He knows how to have you. You see, a lot of time they'll come, they'll bring a scripture, and boom, they go out out of con context with it to justify what they are talking about. And he knows how to do the effective being in nature together and all the different things. He even talked about the pets that go to heaven and how he has fun for them. He's yeah. taking care of fun for the pets. Talk about one thing you've seen about how God prepared fun for, for even your pets that are there. Well, I think one of the things was actually it did have to do with my own dog. Okay. My dog lived a long life. She was like 15 or 16, something like that. She was a Yorkie. And, and I loved her very much, but I started traveling a lot. Of course, my mom was here and some of my family was here to, to play with her, but she got where she was getting very old. And my mom called and said, I don't think she's going to make it. And I said, no, God promised me I get to see her before he took her to heaven. And so I did make it home and I prayed over her and blessed her. And then she died and went to heaven. And I, it wasn't very soon after that that I actually saw her. Well, one of Molly's favorite things to do was to try to get to the mailman, which, of course, she couldn't. 
And he would take the mail and put it in the slot of the door and make it go back and forth to make her bark. <laughs> you know? And then he'd take, like, you know, the junk mail that nobody reads, and he would actually play and throw it through the mail slot so she would chase it. But one day, I don't know how she got out, but one day she got out, and it happened to be me in the mail delivery time, and, boy, she was just, she was after that mailman. Now, she wasn't going to hurt him, and he was laughing. He was a big guy. He finally just took some mail, and our, our mail, our junk mail, and threw it so she'd go get it. I think that was the greatest day of her life. So when I saw, I saw my dog running down the streets of gold with a piece of mail in her mouth. <laughs> there is no mail. No mail. Remember, this is a dog that died here on earth and uh, running now in heaven. What she was doing here with the mailman, you know, pick up the mail and and God made a fun scene and cat's dog in heaven was running on the streets of God and getting mail, just like the dog was doing here. Delivery in heaven, people. And God decides to do these things himself. He knew what my dog loved to do. He knew that she liked to do that. And and then I saw, I saw in front of her, I saw an angel dressed like a postman. Where this is gonna offend some people, but who cares? You know, <laughs> everyone else is gonna love it because your pets are up there having the time of their life. Yeah, Just yeah. before my dog came home and we weren't there to love her, he had an angel, and I've seen that angel more than once, dressed as a postman with a mailbag with fake mail in it. And he would throw a bunch <laughs> of it hilarious. and he would run. The dogs would chase him, they'd stop to get the mail, and he'd keep looking, they would keep this this was a whole scene going down the streets of gold and people were on the sides, they were just laughing at the dogs. But the dogs were having the time of their life. And so this is one way for my own dog. Yeah. I know another another person who had a pet goat. And that goat loved like cookies or muffins. And uh, and I saw this do this goat outside my father's ranch, which my father's never seen me in heaven, but I've seen him. And these bushes were growing these cookies and muffins. And that goat, which used to belong to my niece, that goat was eating the cookies and the muffins off the bushes that got moved. <laughs> so that's that hilarious. And so if you think he's not a, a detail. So Cat has gone to heaven multiple times. She goes there a lot. The Father God takes her there. And this one she's describing about the goat that Nis had here on earth and appeared in heaven. Kat says that I've seen my father in heaven, but she has not seen her earthly father here. I guess she passed away, but she went to heaven and saw him, and she, he did not see him. I hope you, you, you catch that. Uh, loving father, you, you don't know him. So I've seen many other instances, but those two especially are personal with me. And yeah. so uh, my sister Jen, writing the children's books, is actually going to put that goat in one of the stories, and on our father, outside our father's ranch, along this whole big fence, there was these bushes growing muffins and cookies, yeah, and that goat was eating them. So there you go. All of the creativity of a loving God would do something silly like that. Now, before everyone runs off and says, I'm going to remind you, Cat did not say there's postman in heaven. He said no, basically an angel was pretending to be a postman and gave, you know, so... God can do what he wants, but there's not yes, real delivery, yes. so I, mean, I, just, I can hear the And, and yeah. my dog wasn't the only dog, by the way. When I looked forward, when the deer went forward and I saw the angel throwing the mail, I looked behind, and there was about 100 dogs behind my dog. <laughs> so all these dogs were chasing this one, um, one, one uh, angel who dresses on purpose like a postman. Remember, all this happened in heaven, and she saw it because she was there. They don't deliver mail in heaven. You don't need to do that. But this was just for fun, uh, for the for the pets to enjoy. Well, and and I, and so we're not only talking about pets and children. We're talking about adult children. Like when I go, I expect to be twenty something or thirty something looking. I think that's what everybody you said um, aren't twenty somethings and thirty something children, adults. In heaven throughout all eternity, aren't they going to have moments of absolute hilarity, gut splitting laugh? So, when you die, no matter the age, uh, you will be looking like 20 something or 30 something. That's what they are talking about. Yes. And hilarity? They will. they will. I've seen people laughing so hard they've fallen on the streets of gold. And when people try to step over them, they get that same laughter on them. And pretty soon they're just in the streets of gold laughing. And that laughter goes all over heaven. So, 
why wouldn't you want to laugh after yeah. you've lived on this earth down here? If you're going home, H-O-M-E, that's a place where you live, where you laugh, and where you love in heaven. And those those enjoyable moments that you have here are even greater in heaven. So, 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 so good. All right, this next one, someone asked, Kurt asked, is it this, well, uh, not, the, I'm not, the, I'm not the, the, no, American Girl, it says American Girl, I think that's her handle. Do children also get taken to the throne and when Jesus presents them to the Father? Or does that happen when they reach a certain age? Of course, age, there's no time in heaven, but I, I guess you talked about the Lord presenting to the Father. And so her question is, what about the children that arrive? Absolutely, they, uh, absolutely, he does it at one point. Um, I think Jesus welcomes most of the children himself personally, especially those who were like miscarried or aborted. He meets with them first, and any sadness that would even try to get into them, that he takes any, uh, you know, if you're if you're really shy or, or the child doesn't know people, they make friends with Jesus first, and they love him. They just love Jesus. He'll come read stories to them. He takes them into the meadows and, and do, does things with them. They go on rides of different animals, um, like kangaroo. I talk about it all the time. I've seen them put little babies in the pocket, and the kangaroo hops around. Birds will fly the little babies around. They're all going with Jesus to have a picnic somewhere. And so a scene like that, you probably wouldn't want. So babies, they go on kangaroo. They fly on birds. Uh, to go have a picnic with Jesus, um, that's cat. That's what she has seen. Because you know, well, you would probably have a picnic in heaven. But it's because he loves them so much. They fall in love with him. And even though they don't have to, they want to receive them as their savior. And so they have a ceremony in the throne room where they will bring little flowers. They bring little bundles of tiny flowers, like tiny daisies. And they have this little gown on and they all go before the throne and they present it to Jesus Christ and say, I receive you as my savior. It's one of the best ceremonies to ever see it. when you're in heaven is you get to see the children being welcomed to heaven and that they accept Jesus Christ and because they love him and they all know what he's done for them, what he did for all of us here on this earth. So the other time that they're welcomed in the throne room is... It you hear that? So babies, children getting saved because they did, did not know him, they have opportunity there, and they receive him as a personal savior and Lord. If you have a little baby and you didn't know that you're allowed to name your child, if your child passed and you didn't get to name your child before it went, you can pick a name that would be a male or female, or pick one of each, and he will call for that baby from the nursery, and he will hold that baby on his lap and say, your parents just named you, and this wow. is not your name. And from that point forward, they will be called the name that you give your child in heaven. That is it. All right. You heard it, guys. <laughs> you know, uh, Kat is a false prophet. Okay. She says a lot of things about heaven that enter. You know, there is no biblical reference. Uh, stuff like even prophecies that she has come up with that are false trump prophets prophecies that are false and why should we trust her now with this information that she claims she saw in heaven and describing things that are happening in heaven so that's my take guys what's your take let's talk about it leave me a comment leave me a comment and let's talk about it make sure you like the video or subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber do so now do so quickly. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.